Bye. Shuttle Discovery lifted off little more than an hour ago from Cape Canaveral on a top secret spy mission. The authorities have maintained strict security over all aspects of the flight, and even the launch time was kept secret until just a few minutes before the rocket's departure. Brown Barron has just sent us this report. As shuttle launches go, this was the ultimate cliffhanger, with NASA giving nothing away until the final minute. The only glimpse of the five-man crew, headed by Navy Captain Thomas Mattingly, was on their way to the launch pad two hours before Discovery set off. Because of the secret military cargo in the Discovery's hold, the Pentagon insisted on minimum publicity. But the launch, when it came in mid-afternoon Florida time, was presented with NASA's usual mastery of science and showmanship. We have main engine start. Four, three, two, one. Ignition and liftoff. Liftoff of Discovery, the first flight totally dedicated to Department of Defense mission. And it's cleared the tower. Unlike all previous shuttle flights, NASA, on the Pentagon's orders, blacked out communications between Grand Control and the Discovery's crew, so the media couldn't listen in. During the launch, the Space Center here was closed to the public, but hundreds of NASA employees stopped work to watch. No details have been given of the shuttle's orbit, or when it will launch the powerful spy satellite it's believed to be carrying. As depicted here, this new kind of satellite is designed to intercept Soviet communications, then beam the information back to an American monitoring base in Australia. From there, it will be sent by another satellite to the Washington headquarters of the National Security Agency for attempted deciphering. So Discovery's military mission off to a good start. Already, no less than one-fifth of the next 70 shuttle missions have been booked by the Pentagon. And in California, the Air Force is completing its very own shuttle launching pad. So today's launch represents a new kind of American manned space effort. Despite the Pentagon's restrictions, NASA was allowed to show pictures of the shuttle on the brink of space taken by chase planes. But no one's saying how long Discovery's mission will last.